In this No Man's Sky video, I'm going to give you 8 locations for the Interceptor Sentinel ships. But first things first, let's shoot that cargo pod and see how many Sentinels come in. Captain Steve was right, shooting them means there's only one comes in per spawn, which means farming Dreadnought AI fragments is a lot easier. But let's watch the Dreadnought explode, I do like that. I forgot, but it might be worth turning the technology damage down to none, and enemy strength to weak, and if need be, turn it back up when the Sentinel Dreadnought comes in, but only if the Dreadnought AI fragment doesn't drop. And another thing I've been doing for the last few days is farming all the materials that I need, and this will ensure that when I go ship hunting, it'll be a nice, smooth process. All the Interceptor Sentinel ships that are in this video all come from the Interstellar Index. People are constantly posting their finds there and I'll put a direct link to the Facebook page in the description below. It should also pop up in the right hand corner now. All the Interceptors in this video are all in Euclid, that should make life easy. And this is the portal code for the first one, but the portal code will also appear at the end of each find and there will also be chapters to make life a lot easier. Landed in the first planet, this was found by Kevin, and the next two are also going to be found by Kevin. I can't see any combo, so I'll pop my first Dreadnought AI fragment, and then I'll head to the ship. That's the current location popping up now, but don't worry, I'll be placing combos wherever I find a ship. There's a certain rule, I'll explain later in the video. So let's nab all the stuff, including the brain. As you'll note, this is a B class. As I've got all the materials, all I have to do is probe the subconscious. But if you need further help, I'll put a link to a tutorial that will pop up now. And I won't do this for every find, just the first one. But I'm off to Monolith to cleanse the brain. I return to the ship and I fixed it. And finally, I'm going to put down a combo. But if you come to the planet and find a different ship, and it's a lower class, don't put down the combo. Only for higher classes. And that should make searching for ships a lot easier for other people. Let's watch the takeoff animation, then a little showcase in space so you can get a good idea of the colours, followed by the portal code, and then the next ship. I'm at ship number two. Here's the current location. This time I only found a C-class, I'm sure you'll find better. It's ship number three, there's quite a few combobs kicking around, so I'll fly to each one, find out which has got the best class. I 
The best one from the combos was this B-Class, but I'm sure there will be A's and S's on this planet. And here's the planet location. Okay, the next set of three were all found by Daniel. I couldn't see any com balls when I got here, but here's the planet location. As I mark this spot with a C class, I'll have a few more tips later in the video. And with the second find from Daniel, ship number five, when you get the opportunity, do some farming. This is the planet location for the ship. Unfortunately, it's only a C-class, but I'm hoping you'll find better. Then when I return, it'll save me a lot of effort. Ship number six with the planet location. This time it was an A-class. So this is definitely a com ball time.
When it came to ship number 7, it was only a B class, but there's an A class on this planet, so I'm not putting a com ball down. And this one was found by Lucas. After the showcase for this one and the portal code, on the final ship, I've got the final tip. This final ship was found by Gabe, and as you can see, there's combos on this planet. So when I went to the marked ship, they did the usual scan for the current location. And then interacted with the ship, I noticed it was a C-Class, I know it can do better. So what you do to remove the ship from your log, is cancel the mission, and move to a different part of the planet. At this point you can pop another Dreadnought AI fragment, but I decided to pop an Echo Locator and find a camp. Then I tracked the ship from the camp. I've also got videos on camps as well. This time the ship was a B class, better than C, but I'm sure there's better on this planet. This is the planet location for this ship. And yes, I put down a combo. And there's one last wee thing after the showcase and the portal code. When you're on the planet and you see things that you need to collect, collect it. Plenty of farming, because I managed to pick up two more echo locators while farming. And I really needed the other things, typical, but that's RNG for you. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.